welcome back to Bart's Garage. Uh, actually, back in the garage today, I've been uh, I've been working on putting a couple of extra crankcase vents on this thing. Uh, it's been making a, an awful, awful mess out of the crankcase vent, uh, dumping oil everywhere. Uh, and it's only at high RPM, and I guess that's a common issue with these engines. Uh, so anyway, uh, some of you guys had questions on what's going on here. <laughs> Dude, why did you drill two big holes in your engine? And I definitely didn't want to. I didn't want to have this stuff up on the valve cover. Don't like the way that it looks. Uh, but I, I just kind of come to, to realize that that was probably the... Uh, I, I'm not, I, I hate to say the easiest location, but it would be the easiest to work with, like, you know, doing maintenance, you know, later on and, and, you know, I guess easier to install too, because the valve cover is so easy to get off. All it is, is just two 11 30 seconds holes that, you know, they're tapped to, uh, eighth inch pipe thread, NPT, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it's got, uh, two five sixteenths hoses and I've just got them ran up and and under the, the engine mount and up beside the battery the same way that I've got the one that comes off the back of the, the engine the one that comes on it I've got it routed the same way so they're all three ran right there together uh, but there's a few other alternatives to doing this uh, this I felt like was kind of extreme, but I, I, there was, I was kind of out of options. Uh, Brandon Rice from, uh, Mr. Original Concept Garage. Uh, that's his, that's his ruckus that you see over there. Uh, yeah, it's big motor. Uh, it's a 232 liquid cooled four valve. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a unit. But he gave me this. This is something that they use on the ruckuses, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably seen it. And it just screws into where your uh, where your oil cap or your dipstick it go. It screws in there, and you just run a hose off of it, and you can run it to a catch can or run it up and vent it, you know, up inside the frame or whatever. And this is what goes on the other end of the hose. Uh, and this is really what I wanted to do, but my exhaust is so close to the dipstick that I don't have any room to route, you know, cause that's a pretty good size. Hopefully hole. it works out. I've ridden it, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 minutes. And so far it seems to be considerably better than it was uh, because I was really, really running it very, very hard. And admittedly there was a little bit from under it whenever I came out here. Wasn't a lot, but there was a little there. Uh, so I probably am gonna have to end up building a catch can and I'm gonna do it uh, to where it'll mount off of the, the gas tank mount uh, on the right side, or that's the plan. Uh, so I guess I'll probably be making another video on that soon. But anyway, uh, hopefully that's answered your guys' questions. If not, uh, hit me up. I don't care a bit to help you out. Uh, I'll do anything I can. Um, uh, so anyway, I'll, uh, I'll put a couple of pictures that I've taken that are close up of exactly what's going on here. That way you can see what I'm rambling on about. But, uh, but anyway, uh, look me up on YouTube, uh, Bart's Garage, uh, subscribe and, you know, all that good business. Uh, help me out, help me get her going. Uh, I'm going to post some more videos soon, uh, getting out riding around and, uh, Got a special little thing uh, going on tomorrow. Uh, I'll uh, I'll be posting on that. So I'm pretty excited about it. But but anyway, uh, take it easy, guys. We'll see you later.